Today, we're finally going to install this steel upgrade kit from AliExpress for my G-Shock GWM5610U, which I've been patiently wearing for the last one week. You may remember that in the unboxing video for this G-Shock, I committed that I was going to wear it without upgrading it for the next seven days. Well, G-Shock's handy calendar feature has outed me. It's only been six. Well, I couldn't wait the extra day. For anyone who missed the unboxing of the steel upgrade kit where we compared the weights against the titanium kit, I'm leaving a link for you above. And by the way guys, if you'd like to know the story behind my failure with the titanium kit and how I broke this 5600 series, let me know and I'll happily make a video for you. So let's open up the steel upgrade kit guys, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next review. We have the spring bar removal tools and spare spring bars, and of course, we have the bezel and strap themselves. Absolutely beautiful. So just before we install the upgrade kit, guys, I'll give you the quick one week, <clears throat> six day rundown of my experience with this watch without any upgrades at all. So I'm a big fan of the comfort of this watch. I will admit the straps have given me a bit of uh, arm hair pulls a few times, but not the end of the world. The tough solar feature has been great, you know, just generally wearing it for the last week, I've got it up from medium to high in charge. So really my only complaint with this watch has been the pushes, which are a little bit small as we identified in my last video. So it can be a bit hard for me to press them sometimes, especially when it is on my wrist. And that's why guys, this will be my daily wear watch for every day of the week, except the days when I've got my volleyball games, which is twice a week, I'm going to wear this GD350, which has got these nice large pushes that let me start a timer for the round. If you haven't seen the review for this one, there's a link to it above. And finally, guys, on certain occasions where I'm feeling a little bit fancy, I'm going to wear this A700W, which is this metal retro Casio. So I haven't done a review on this one yet, guys, but make sure you're subscribed because I've got one coming. So let's do it, let's start the upgrade. I'm gonna be using just the tools that they've provided me in the box and see how we go. So we have this little Phillips and our first step is gonna to be to remove this outer bezel. Okay, step one completed guys. The rubber bezel has been unscrewed. So now it should just be a matter of sort of popping it out the back here. Is that right? Or actually no, I think we have to remove the spring bars first. So guys, that is both straps off and the bezel, we've already undone the screws, so that should just pop. Oh, and actually, we're gonna have to lift that up. See how under the buttons the rubber's there? So that's no problem. Just lift that up and over the buttons. And bingo, we're out of the old bezel. Alrighty, so let's take our steel G-Shock bezel here, which again, looks absolutely beautiful, this mecha design. If you haven't seen the trailer for this design, you should definitely check it out. So have a look at that. It does have gaps under the pushes because it's obviously not rubber. So I'm just gonna slide that on over. Oh my God, look at how nice that looks. That looks so good. So we're gonna screw this in first, but just before we do, I think they have included, yep, they've included some nice black screws. So um, we're gonna disregard those silver screws and we're just gonna use these black ones which I feel will fit a lot better with the color scheme of the watch so we'll take these out oh and they've given us five now I want to be very careful here guys because in the titanium upgrade kit installation I took it a bit too quickly and what happened is I actually scratched these little black screws and uh, when you do so you can see the silver through on them and it doesn't look good so I'm just gonna take it slow take it easy and make sure this is looking absolutely perfect. Don't wanna over tighten it, just enough. Awesome, that looks really good guys. Okay, now it is time for the steel strap. All right, now this one uses a different type of spring bar than the standard ones that we removed in this rubber strap. So I'll get those spring bars out. And again, generously, they've given us an extra one. So we have three here. And actually, I don't think we're gonna need the uh, spring bar tool for this one, guys. See how it's got that little knob there? So you can just sort of use your nail to press that in. Okay, one half's in. Now we've just gotta line it up. We're gonna use the spring bar tool to try and help us out here because we're actually struggling to get this in. This is proving to be a real struggle. Surely, 
Oh, hang on. Yes, I think that's it. We're in. Awesome, guys. That was honestly way more difficult than it needed to be. But uh, anyway, it's in. So let's move on to the next half. All right, we've got to try something else. I don't know whether it's this spring bar, but we're going to try spring bar number three. We're lucky they gave us a spare because, don't know, guys, that one does not want to go in. Okay, the bottom half's in now. That's promising. Don't want to lose that progress. So I'm going to try and wriggle the top half around while also putting a bit of upwards pressure on it. I reckon we should be able to get it. Yes. Oh, we've done it, guys. We've finally done it. It's in. Look at the time. Look how much time elapsed trying to get that done. My goodness, but well worth it. So just before we start putting it on the wrist and adjusting it, guys, how nice does that look? Love all the links, all of the little details on there, including the clasp. It's got all the, the genuine info that would be there as well. Looking really good. Okay, so let's get it on the wrist and we're going to remove as many clasps as we need. My wrist is 6.75 inches and there is a whole lot of slack. So we're going to remove some of these. Um, the thing about these links is, see how the top three have one, two and three there? So, so long as we remove any of the other generic ones, we should be all good. And guys, I will say it is possible to scratch the metal here, so it's always good to do this on the inside of your watch strap so that there's no risk of the outside getting any damage, all right? And we're in. So guys, the straps are on, perfectly fitting. Let's give it a wrist check to verify. Okay, do up the clasp. And oh yeah, that looks really, really good. If you'd like to get your hands on the GWM 5610U Series G-Shock or the Steel Upgrade Kit, I'm leaving a link for you in the description below. Well, that's all we've got time for, guys. But as a fellow G-Shock enthusiast, I'm leaving you with two related videos that you're not going to want to miss. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next review.